Hello. If you've just installed Contact Form 7 plugin and you're wondering how to use it, I'm going to show you the basics of um, what you need to know. So, when you've installed Contact Form 7, the plugin, you'll see this button in your dashboard that says Contact. And if you click that button, you'll see this page. Now, basically, what this is is a ready made simple form that all you need to do is in this brown box here, you just need to copy this this page this code and paste it into your page now I've got a page here that I've already made um, and all we need to do is paste this code in here that's it just like that and then click update now <coughs> pardon me <coughs> if we go to the th this page here if we view the page and you'll see it. This is the the, um, the form that Contact Form 7 has made for you. And if that's all you need, if, you, if it's got a name, email address, subject, and a message box, and if that's all you need, then that's all you need to know. That's all you need to do, copy that code there at the top of Contact Form 7, paste it into your blog post or web page, and your form is ready made. It, it, it'll work. It will send the information to whoever, when you set up WordPress, you'll have had like an administrator email address and contact form seven will get that email address and use it there. Now, if you want to change that, suppose you've got a sales department, you could change that to sales at mybusiness.com or whatever. But otherwise it'll send, the, the form will automatically be sent to your main administrator email address. Right. What we'll do, I'll show you a few of the most commonly used um, tags. So, we've already got the basic form ready made for us. We're going to add a drop down menu. So, we just click that. We've got to add one choice per line. So, um, Right, all we need to do, add your choices there, and um, just click the, the, what you've got to do, when you make with all of these tags, you've got to copy the code, it tells you what to do here, it says copy this code and paste it into the form left, and it means this when it says form left, so if we copy this, and paste it in here, give ourselves a bit more space, and we need to copy this code as well in the green box and it says here put this code in the mail fields below now when it says mail fields below it means this message body there. so we paste that in there now <clears throat> we've got our um, drop down list but no information to tell people what to do so let's save that and I'll show you what I mean right now if we go back to the web page we made we're going to get a drop down list here so we'll refresh the page and there's the drop down list but it doesn't say what you have to do with it and you, these messages here you've got to put those in yourself by hand sometimes contact form 7 will do it for you but um, any of these text box type things you've got to do it yourself so if you want to do that all you need to do you need to see how this has got a paragraph tag a break tag and then a closing paragraph tag so the easiest way to do it you could just copy that well it's the easiest way just copy that put it in there and we'll put our message there so we want to say um, we'll put a closing paragraph tag there see what that looks like click save <clears throat> what what we've done is we've added the text that appears before the um, the menu so let's have a look at our page now there there's no no information there and when we refresh the page it puts I like and then you can choose pop crisp buns and cake 
you could put whatever you like there um, I'm just showing you how to put the text in so what's next checkboxes there's a fair chance you might want to use checkboxes so click generate tag look for checkboxes and all you need to do is put your choices so what shall we have um, I made a little thing somewhere flip and copy drop yeah well that's what we'll have we'll have um, this right so <clears throat> you got to put one per line now when you do this it says put label first a checkbox last check checkbox last and what it means by that is normally the um, the checkbox will be before the word but if you want the word before the checkbox that's what this means uh, make checkboxes exclusive that's if if you don't if, if you know what radio buttons are um a rate you can only click one radio button and this make checkboxes exclusive means that you can only click one um checkbox as you can only click one radio button to me if you're going to only be able to click one you might as well have radio buttons that's what radio buttons are for people understand what it means anyway so we've, we've typed our list in there so we've got this checkbox down here this um code so we copy that it says copy this code and paste it into the form left which it means over here when it says form left and then put this code in the middle fields below the green one so we copy that paste that into this bit here right yet again we're going to have to add the text but we'll have a look first and see what uh, see what we see update our page now it says Spaniel, Labrador or Terrier but it doesn't tell us what 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 the checkboxes are about so we'll need to add some text so all we need to do find the bit that we've just done which is that bit and we need yet again to add this code or the, just the break and the um, paragraph tags so put paragraph tag um, <clears throat> and then we'll close the paragraph tag right now the reason we're putting a break there is a break br means a line break and it just make it tidies the form up it looks a bit more tidy right so we'll go back to the page we've made there's no text telling us what to do there but when we refresh the page dogs I like and when we can choose well I like spaniels I like labradors and I like terriers um, the reason we've put a break there is it makes a line break between this text and the checkboxes so we've done that I'll just show you radio buttons the radio buttons are more or less the same um, but we'll just have a quick look so you just do the same with radio buttons you put your choices in here and then you copy this code and this code the same way as we've just done right I'll show you on how to do an upload you might want people to be able to upload uh, images or word documents all kinds of things to send with this form so we've got generate tag file upload now with this one this one's slightly different so we've got to read the text carefully and it says excuse me <coughs> pardon me it says here copy this code and paste it into the form left what we've got as well here as standard contact form 7 gives you a they can upload one megabyte in size so if it's an image it could be up to one megabyte but no larger than one megabyte and this acceptable file types you can choose contact form 7 puts in quite a good list of file types that are acceptable things like um, uh, PDF um, doc jpeg gif things like that if you only want them to be able to upload suppose you only wanted them to be able to upload um uh, microsoft 
doc uh, documents, you know, Microsoft Word documents, you could type in there the actual file types that are acceptable. So you've got to separate them with a comma. So, uh, but it, it, that will, you don't need to do that. That's just if you choose to limit what people can upload. All right. So copy this code and paste it into the form left. So we'll just copy that, paste it over here again. And we've got to copy this one. But this time it says, and put this code into the file attachments field below. So we've got to look for file attachments, which is here. So we'll just paste that code in there. And then we'll click save. And we'll have a look at our page again. There we go. There's the they, they can browse there. You see, I've got a picture on my desktop of a, a BSA motorbike from my local museum, and I could choose that one. And that, then, when I send the form, it would email that image to you it, when the form is sent. Right, what's now? Oh, I won't put any text around that one because just to save a bit of time, it works in the same way as the other ones. Right, what you might want to do, you can either have a quiz, um, which it's a bit, I don't know if you know what capture is, but it, it's, it makes it a bit more difficult for spammers to send you. Um, spam, spam bots can't fill in forms that have got thing, a thing called a capture. It stops the spam bots because you might end up with a lot of spam um, form posts. It can happen. <laughs> Believe me, it can happen. Right. Um, so if you want to add a quiz question, you just type the, qu the question and then the answer and in between the question and the answer you have a pipe character on a, an English keyboard a pipe character is in the bottom left hand corner near the shift key it's just an up and down character a pipe character look pipe character oh wrong button <laughs> no wonder I kept doing it wrong the pipe character <laughs> looks like that it's just an up and down character uh, so you put the question and then the answer with a pipe character in between. You can you can have anything for the question and the answer. It could be, what colour is grandma's dog? Um, and if it's a brown dog, the answer would be brown. But but you've got to you make your own question and answer. And you can if you want to have several questions and answers in that list. And contact form seven will choose which one to use every time somebody opens a, a your web your, your web form page. Um, right. Oh, the error messages. What at the bottom of this page? You've got a lot of error messages, and you can change those if you want to. If something goes wrong and the form doesn't work, so like the uploading file fails for any reason, you'll get this message. But you can change that if you want to using this box at the bottom. Now we're getting a bit near the edge of what we've got time for. What you can also do, you can do a thing called, um, you can let people choose the recipient of the email. Now I'll just really quickly show you, because uh, you, you can find more on the website that goes with this. I'll put a link below the video um, to, uh, to to the website that, that goes with the video, because there's more information there. Now, if you want to uh, let people choose who to receive the the email. If you've got several people who, who that potentially could receive this email, you need this code. Um, but the easiest way to do that is either have a look at this the, the web page that goes with this video, or just search online for um, contact for form seven, select recipient. Now you need the name of the person you want to receive it, then a pipe character, that line, and then the email address, the email address of the people, and you can have a list of them, or you know several. I'll just quickly show you because we're getting really near the edge of our 15 minutes here. Where we get there, we go recipient. As well as that code, you need to change what they call the recipient, and that goes in here. So in there, you just put recipient, and then contact form seven will um, find the right recipient for that the email when the user chooses it. I'll click save and show you. 
and then we'll have to uh, we'll have to leave it there because we're getting near our 15 minutes there we go send this information to and then they can choose but if you want to know more about that have a look at this website and there's a bit more information there well I've got to leave it there because we're running out of time I do hope you like WordPress and I do hope you enjoy using contact form 7 thanks for watching bye